Hey guys, this is the AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a 5-wire and 4-wire Honeywell zone valve. So zone valves are used, they're mounted on a boiler to provide hot water to multiple locations. So say you have two thermostats or maybe six thermostats in a building, you, you will then have that same amount of zone valves uh, for that system. So each of these is going to shut the flow of hot water off to that location until the thermostat sends power to the motor and then the motor is going to open up the zone valve and then the zone valve is going to confirm that it's open via the end switch wires here or the end switch terminals right here. It's important for the zone valve to let the control know when it's fully open so that the control can go ahead and power the circulating pump in order to pump the hot water. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the internal components in order to know how it works and then we're going to go ahead and power a motor and we're going to confirm that the zone valve is open. So you know I've already cut the wires here, but these two led over to the end switch and these two connected right here. All you really need to do is to unscrew this screw right here and this one right here in order to remove this entire assembly. Now once you're in here, all you have to do is unscrew these. So you can see that the actual electrical mechanical on the top can be changed out. Now inside, you just have this little ball right here. So all it does is it just opens just like this. And it seats right up against this part in here in order to close the flow off. And you see that you have your arrow heading in this direction, but it just it stops the flow right there. And then you have your little, your little O-ring right here. Now in reference to this part here, you can uh, just take this one screw out here and you can lift this up and this is just a 24 volt motor and it actually runs very, very slowly. Now we'll go ahead and power it. So you can see the sprocket right there moves very, very slowly. So then in reference to this part right here, you can actually remove this assembly if you just turn this tab, this tab, and this tab, which I've already done. And there's your gears and spring assembly. Right here you have your, your little micro switch. And, and that's that. So this actually sat right in there. Now we have our 24 volt power wire connected to TH and our common wire connected to TR and let's go ahead and apply power. So you see our motor's turning which makes our gear turn and the tab is going to press up against the micro switch and you're going to hear a clicking noise. That means that the two red wires are now touching and that's an indication that the valve is actually open. Now let's go ahead and disconnect our power. Now you heard that click, which means that the two red wires are not touching, and now our valve is closed. So now our zone valve is wired up. We have our hot wire coming straight over to the R terminal in the thermostat, and then it would come out of the thermostat on W on a call for heat over to TH. TH is a 24 volt input to the, to the valve, and then we have TR is the common, and that comes straight over to the transformer. THTR, that's more like a landing spot. That's just a junction for the hot wire, but it's actually not connected in the back. And you see I actually have this little wire sitting inside the, uh, the pipe right here for when the zone valve opens, just because it's hard to see down in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna power this with 24 volts and we're going to uh, read a continuity reading across our end switch terminal right here and here. And let's go ahead and turn our multimeter on. And now we're going to go ahead and apply 24 volts to the motor with our thermostat. So our motor is turning right now. And you should be able to see this wire move a little bit. So now our zone valve is opened all the way. And our end switch is closed. We read 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance. And I took the 24 volts off the zone valve again and now you see the zone valve is closed and this wire has been pushed up again. So here we have our four wire setup, very similar to the five wire setup. 
especially since we're not using one of the five terminals. So you have your hot wire coming out of the transformer, coming over to R on the thermostat. When the thermostat calls for heat, you have 24 volts coming out of the W over to your yellow wire, going to power your motor inside the zone valve. Then it comes out of the motor via the common wire and comes back to the transformer. And then you have your two end switch wires. So we're presently reading a well, which means that the wires are not touching. And then after this end switch opens up the mechanicals, it's going to end up closing the electrical circuit. So let's go ahead and turn the thermostat on, powering the motor. See the wire moving a little bit? And now our zone valve is open. Let's go ahead and shut it. You see our little wire got stuck under there, but I just had that in there just to show you how that ball moves up and down, closing and opening the zone valve. And in reference to troubleshooting these zone valves, if you have 24 volts applying to the yellow wires heading to the motor, uh, but you just don't hear anything happening and you're not getting any hot water, then what you could do is just shut the power off, disconnect the wires, and check a resistance reading across the motor. And in this case, you see we're reading 20.6 ohms of resistance to electrical flow. And that will be the same thing over here on this TH and a TR terminal on this zone valve. If you read a well across this, then that means that the windings inside the motor have burned apart and the motor is no longer any good. As well, uh, say you have 24 volts to the motor and the motor's running fine, but when the zone valve opens, you don't have any resistance reading across these two. This should be uh, very close to 0.0, .0 ohms of resistance. But if you don't have that 0.0, .0 ohms of resistance, then that microswitch could be bad. But it is very easy to just change out the power head. So you can do that with just those two screws I showed you earlier, and you don't have to drain any water out of this assembly right here. In an emergency situation, you can always turn this manually, and it's just important to note that when you do that, you still won't have continuity across the end switch. So even though your valve is open, you won't have hot water flowing to that part of the building until another zone valve is calling for heat. The zone valve is open, it's just not open enough to press up against the microswitch. If you're looking for the multimeter, the zone valves are the wiring instructions for the zone valves. I have them all linked down in the description below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.